<laughs> oh, don't mind me, I'm just frolicking with the rabbits. Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. As a little reminder, you can click on the individual rabbits in each of their habitats that they migrated to to see how many of each that you've got. I, of course, you know, got them all. <laughs> But, you know, if you don't have a checklist on the side or whatnot, you know, like I set up there, well, well, this might be a, a way to get a general idea as to where you might have missed a rabbit or 20, so... <laughs> there you go. Now... I don't want to see any more dialogue here. Gosh, just look at all those long-eared darlings. They're adorable! I have to tell you, I never imagined you'd catch so many for me. You made me a very, very happy fellow. And she's like, Welcome to Rabbit Land Rescue, friend! Our buddy's just... Nope, she's got the same dialogue. Okay. So, let's see what Zelda has to say now. Amazing! You got 50 rabbits all by yourself, Link! The Rabbit Land Rescue Man must be overjoyed to have so many bunnies around. So are you ready to get back on the train? Heck yeah! Very well, let's be off. So obviously the next location I'll be going to because I got a letter is over at the Goron Mines. You know, the place that's got dark ore. So we've got to get ourselves over there, preferably using the quickest warp gates possible or something. I'll, I'll think about it. <laughs> Gate 8 will do! As I was looking for the shortest warp gate area thing, I uh, noticed a little something at the Ocean Realm. I never marked that I got this rabbit over here. <laughs> there we go. And now, as long as we're going get it, we can go ahead and erase this area over here, because the reminder is over! <laughs> So here we go, let's blow up that place for the last time, stop that, I should say blow up the sign for the last time, stop our train, and check out our collection screen here. Do 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 do, Kagoran, alright, so, what is this referring to? <laughs> mm hmm. yes, yes, go on map, hidden in the dark, or mine, is that, I guess it could be the far right side of the Goron Mine area type place, if that's what it could be referring to. Perhaps, maybe, it might be. By the way, uh, you couldn't push away these boulders or anything like that with the sand rod like you could in the, the sand temple because, well, well, there's no sand under them to push and whatnot. Okay, so I'm gonna try my song... Wait, wait, no! I was gonna say Song of Discovery, but that's the Song of Awakening, dang it. <laughs> that, that is useless to me at this point. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so this might be the one... Aha, it is! Look at that! Ancient gold piece! Yeehaw! So that takes care of that dealio. <laughs> Okay, that wasn't all that much to get, but I mean, I guess it helps a little bit, you know, but it probably helps more if I got bigger treasures than that, but that is... Yes, I am. <laughs> choo choo! But that is, I guess, all that I need to grab over there, so I think it's time we go over to the Tower of Spirits and get some more treasure. Because remember, there is all sorts of stuff that I could get back there, but I didn't have the means to get them because I didn't have, like, bombs and stuff like that. So what we're gonna do here is go start from the bottom and work our way up through the floors. You know, I'll be cut, cutting through all the stuff as I go, because you already know how to get through all the floors and whatnot, but... Well, yeah. <laughs> so I'll see you there! Hey, you know what we haven't checked out too? This little pathway besides Hyrule Castle. Yeah, I never came back to that, did I? Oh, I'm gonna get... Oh, yep, yeah, that's what I thought. I was gonna say, I'm gonna get jumped on by some... Oh, where'd you come from? <laughs> so anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and erase my doodles there. There we go. Just get that all cleared out and... Wait, 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 wait. What, what happened? What happened? Why didn't... Did I accidentally hit the wrong switch? Like, did I hit... Because I just went down this path, but I had my path drawn here. I must have accidentally hit this and didn't even notice I hit it. Whoopsie doodles! So let's go back. Over to here, and... 
victory! Now it's turning right. Yeah, I must have flicked this when I was trying to attack the rock tights. Do, 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 do. There we go! New tracks, which kind of looked like the other tracks. As I said, there wasn't really much of anything here. I just kind of wanted to show it for the sake of showing it. <laughs> Alright, to the Temple of Spirits! Wait, did I say the Temple of Spirits? I meant the Tower of Spirits, of course. Okay. Ready, steady, let's talk to Zelda actually. To find a demon train that Melodus and Cole are riding, we must obtain the compass as light. Okay, this is kinda, yeah, this is the same dialogue we heard when we passed through here before to check that out, so. Nah, nah we're, we're good, we're good, let's go. <laughs> so, now since you know that they're kinda segregated based off of the, uh, like, the stopping points, like whenever you go in a door, you end up at that end area where Zelda gets pooped out of whatever phantom you're in. You're gonna have to go into each of these doors individually like before, but that's not that big of a deal or anything like that. So now what's gonna make this significantly faster is, uh, you know those phantoms that we had to always collect the tears of light? Not anymore, because the power of the Locomosaur just lets us just go right into their body and then you can automatically just check stuff out right away. <laughs> so there was this, oof, there was this thing over here that I didn't really have the means to do before. So let's hit that, and uh, oh, 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 yeah, I forgot to mark it on my map, but yeah, I remembered it, I remembered it. Yeah, it's a palace dish, at least in this particular save file, and yes, you can if you want to collect the tier of lights again, but that's not really gonna do much of anything since we've already got our sword powered up in a way that'll allow me to do my thing without them, so yeah, yeah, we're good there. So now there's the other break of a wall, and nice that all these spikes and traps and all that stuff like that are nice and set up too, because uh, they already got that and whatnot. Oh yeah, 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 that's not... That's not, we got actually gotta go around the other way. I didn't act, didn't do it. I didn't set up any sort of way back, did I? Wait, 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 maybe? Hold on a sec, I'm gonna see this really quick. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. How can we get to that treasure chest? I can't fly and you can't reach it either, right, Link? Yeah, um, there, there, there is a trick to this. You gotta get on top of her, if I recall correctly. And I just remembered that one as long as I was here as well, so... Yeah, there's, there's a couple of giblets like that that I've gotta get like that. No, 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 okay. This, this, this block though, it, it apparently decided, eh, I'm gonna move out of there and... Yeah, I'm just... <laughs> Maybe, maybe it was like, eh, eh, well, eh. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I don't have the ability to... Ah, this is actually a puzzler. Okay, so maybe I can get on top of her when I break open that wall. Uh, so you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of you <laughs> really quick, because otherwise they're gonna be kind of in my way. So yeah, I kind of forgot how to get on, get to those uh, spots there that the, the puzzle areas. So, I, I bet there's gonna be some sort of, uh, I don't know, eh, there we go. <laughs> I bet there's gonna be some sort of way to get on top of her in one of the rooms. Uh, ancient gold piece, yeah! It's not that useful for getting on top of those places, but it is still a treasure! So yeah, now we don't have to worry about the that gruesome guy over there, so we can wander around here as we please, pretty much. Um... So yeah, it doesn't look like that there's a spot that I can jump up on top of Zelda at any of the areas. The other floor, um, if you check the map, you'll notice that there wasn't any sort of uh, other layers. Like, you can tell the different levels by the, uh, yeah, those higher portions indicated by the colors there. Then if you go to number three, then you're, you know, this is the end point, so... There's gotta be some way to get on top of her. Maybe I missed something back. It's off the wall. <laughs> it's off the wall again. See, so yeah, maybe I missed something uh, back over on the other side, and maybe I need to jump on top of Zelda from a different location. Eh, I'm sure I'll be able to figure out how to get across there somehow, some way. Maybe. <laughs> uh, like, oh wait, wait, what was that? Oh wait, no, 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 that's my, that's my sword's beam. Yeah, I thought maybe there's like a bombable wall there or something like that. Yeah, see, right here, that's automatically the end of the road for Zelda's assistance. 
Not that it's a big deal or anything like that, because I can just go back out and get that phantom that, you know, that I took a minute ago. But yeah, see, even though you can climb on top of this, there's no phantom to actually jump down onto to get onto the shield and be able to be toted around. So yeah, I'm a little bit baffled at the moment how I got those two before. And also come to think of it, I don't think you can be toted on her on the shield from some other location, like if you go through a doorway or something like that, so yeah. I figured it out! Well, I should say, remembered it. I got my whirlwind out, now watch this. Put Zelda over there, and believe it or not... Yeah. <laughs> I know it doesn't quite make that much sense, because she looks pretty heavy, especially since she sinks in sand and stuff like that, but no, that that is absolutely the solution. <laughs> so obviously now the other one is just getting her to go off the edge and getting on top of her, and then flip-flopping over to said treasure, going over like that, and we doodle ourselves a line without falling off. And wait so we don't have to go and do a big loop to do this again. There we go, do not make mistakes. Voila! A lot of ancient gold pieces around these parts. Another neat trick that you might want to do is that rather than going through, you know, the actual looking for stuff just on foot, just go through the map and look for any marks that you made or whatnot to see if there are anything that you might have missed. So I'm just gonna take a look-see around here. I don't really think I miss anything on 6 and 4, but I don't remember if I got this at number 5, this area here. So I can just rush on over there now that I have the power of the sword! And yeah, just go around, wait for a phantom I suppose, and then see you at floor 5. Alright, so this area up here, is this something that I didn't do before? I don't believe it is. As a matter of fact, this switch is not activated. Oh, 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 oh I see. So you've got to be up here at a slightly higher level then, right? Right, right, or is this just a switch for like the going back and whatnot? Oh, I missed, I missed. It didn't lock on. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, I think this is just this to open up the door so that you can go back to the other area a little bit quicker and whatnot, because remember, these areas over here... Wait, oh wait, actually... Uh, yeah, 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 I was definitely... Here. Oh wait, oh, oh wait, wait, hold, hold on a sec, what is this? Did, was I over in this corner? Well, maybe. No, no, I wasn't. <laughs> I might have just went through the stairs and went straight to the next destination or whatnot. Um, well, actually, did I ever do this before? Oof. Oopsie doodle. Well, let's see um, our map here really quick. Let's go to six. Is that... Uh, yeah, where did those... Where do these stairs lead? Or they lead to four? Yeah, I think... I don't think I've been through that before. Okay. Well, the objective here is to get Zelda to block off the fire as usual. You know, how you... How you do that with her, and you just do this one at a time, you know, you just keep alternating between moving Link and... Oh, that's above our head, okay. <laughs> Alright, that'll do, that'll do. Yeah, I definitely wasn't here before, okay. So that's, uh, that's interesting then, because I, I think I could have actually came here before. Okay, so then that, that might mean I didn't go through those stairs, did I? Mmm, 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 ancient gold piece. <laughs> kind of, kind of mandatory to get a thing in the chest at this point, as it seems like there's a lot of them. Uh, but as long as I'm over here first, you know, I, I'm of course gonna go and flop down this away because you know we're already off her back and whatnot, so we're kind of, we're kind of, you know, we're past the point that you know those stairs and whatnot over there. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I, I thought. I mean, at least I thought I went down those stairs before, but maybe I did not. Okay. So, over here, we've got ourselves something fiery to light. So, I should say we need something to light. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is where I believe I first learned that um, whirlwind trick. Yeah, because it's... <laughs> something like that. Woo! Alright, so now that I got that lit, then we can get the boomerang out. Meow, meow. And then that'll make a bridge. 
Yeah, baby. But of course, we're gonna have to take you Zelda to go through said fire, otherwise, we, you know, we can't exactly go do that ourselves. But what do we need her for on this side? Well, uh, ooh. Actually... Um... Um, hmm... Any place I can get on top of her? Because, yeah, I don't remember this part of the puzzle. <laughs> Unless blowing out all the fire will uh, yield us a path across. Is that well? How about just try and blow out this? No, I didn't think so. And yeah, they don't. There's no torch phantoms around this area either. Uh, I should say uh, wrecker phantoms. Excuse me. Oops. Well. Hmm. Okay. So we've got a puzzle on her. Unless you have her hit that and it turns off the fire. No? What if I leave her there while all of these are lit? Actually, they're all still... okay. <laughs> no? Nope, I'm not sure the solution here just yet, unless I can get her to pick up a bomb or something, but... I don't even know if I can throw a bomb through that. Nope. <laughs> uh, I'll try some stuff. Oh wait, I remembered. <laughs> and as you can tell, she doesn't have a, uh, um, yeah, yeah, like when you throw a bomb to her, it doesn't automatically light, so you gotta kinda, yeah, drop it there by having her target some other stuff and then allow it to blow up, and then you go ahead and put her on the switch, which will turn off the fire and allow Link to get through and open the treasure chest. Yeah, Zelda is quite versatile in that suit of armor, and you know what, I'm just gonna, just gonna OCD that up and open this. Okay, palace dish, not an ancient gold piece, alright. <laughs> That also made me remember why I held off doing that puzzle until later on in the game, because, well... Because the, uh, you know, you still need bombs to actually activate that, I mean, to actually get to that place, so... Yeah, even if you got past this stuff here, you still need bombs and... Well, maybe I did have bombs at the time, I don't... I don't know, I... Zelda? Z why is she going that way? There's a, there's a perfectly good route... Okay, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so what was what up here? I thought like I thought it was through here before, but maybe I wasn't. Uh no, I wasn't. I was definitely not here. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh man. Oh no. This could be bad, actually. Um, well, not really. I just need to get myself in a better position. <laughs> I could also just do this infinitely, I suppose, too. You know, just two at once, all day and all night. Like that, and yeah, I'll just kind of do that until they they relinquish their treasure chest, which should appear over there. And I think that door also opens to boot. <laughs> well, let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay, maybe it's not not yet, not yet. <laughs> okay, well, whoa, 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 that's actually a lot more than I was expecting here. <laughs> Man, I kind of forgot this little area. Maybe I was never here before. Hmm. Hmm. Who knows? <laughs> Woo! Yeah, the big treasure chest, of course, contains the biggest treasure. Everything else contains a staffle skull. I guess they're 50 uh, rupees a piece, I believe. But you know, you know, I don't, I don't know why they would put those in treasure chests. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that well maybe maybe the sc staffle skulls that they, they worship them to some extent because you know you can sell them for a decent amount of cash and whatnot at times so yeah maybe that's why it just there's there's some sort of cultural significance to them and yes <laughs> that explains all. Yeah, thinking back on that, I don't think I was ever in that area before, because I certainly would have remembered a little treasure room like that with multiple treasure chests, so I think what I did on my other playthroughs was I always thought, like I did here, was that that stairwell that I kept passing up on thinking, oh yeah, was I down there before? I think I was, and then that switch was just a way to get back, but no, that's like a whole other wing. To that particular area so no no I indeed never went there before so that's that's pretty cool I found something there oh uh, yeah this here I don't remember if I actually needed to get anything here or not I don't 
really think there was. Uh, uh, maybe there was something vomable here. I just kind of check this just to be sure. Oh yeah, there was! Oh yeah, there was! <laughs> Okie dokie. I think I could have gotten this the last time I was here, but there's my ancient gold piece once again. I wonder if there's something in this little corner here too. Uh, you can always just, you know, hit the walls, but I think they're always like in the northern air area of a wall if you can break them it's like that yeah and i think the other floors i uh cleared out pretty thoroughly because yeah there's this one here which i went to all the crevices and yeah it was, this this was blocked off from another area this was not actually attached to this bridge i was just there to mess with us uh although wasn't there something that i seen on the other side of this bridge here and eh, i feel the need to check that out now oh wait did i ever light these? Like all of them? I think I probably did at some point. I don't think I got anything out of it. Alright, so this floor, I'm gonna go ahead and scout over here really quick without using Zelda because I can feel around the edges just to see what might be around here. Oh, I just jumped into the abyss. <laughs> That's okay, as long as I just go gently and smoothly. Oop. I said gently and smoothly so I can feel around the wall here. Uh, not not high enough. Okay, maybe I should get a phantom. <laughs> but yeah, there might actually be something over there, so I'm gonna go go ahead and grab one really quick. Since I have the sword of the locomos. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Thank you for your assistance, Zelda. I don't think I would have ever gotten through that. Oh, and yes, there was that uh, wall that I had to blow up over there, which was mandatory, so... Yeah, don't really have to go up to that corner or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, this over here it was just this was all just like a red herring of sorts because you couldn't really get get across it that way. You'd have to take this bridge over here. But over on this side, I don't really see. I mean, I didn't really see if there was. I'm gonna just use my torch to take a peek see around. Here. I think there's a wall. Yeah, there's a wall there. So yeah, it's not looking like that is anything important. So I might have just come through here for nothing. What is this over here? Oh, hello. Hello. Let's take a peek see over that way. Okay. So we have something for maybe Zelda to get across to. Let's see what we can do then. So I was right about there's something being over here. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're going solo Zelda now, because we're going beyond these walls now here. Uh, so this probably makes a switch for Link to step, uh, I mean for a bridge for Link to walk on. And then we can open the treasure chest that way. Aha! So that means our map was indeed incomplete up to like something here or something like that somewhere around there like let's just uh say that we got that oh that is that's a pretty accurate map drawing and i did that kind of blindly just taking a guess there <laughs> all righty so i was right about there something being there goron amber and let's just do one more teensy tiny check to our map uh yeah, that was another dead end that led to treasures. So there wasn't anything bombable there. Uh, what was that over there? Hmm, I'm gonna have to check that out too, aren't I? Oh, yeah, 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 that was the room with the key. I just didn't map it out. Yeah, that's right, so just to remind myself for the future. A little key there, a little key symbol there, we go, beautiful. <laughs> I guess the quickest way out of here would be to just go over to the upper room, you know, when we get pooped out of, I mean, when Zelda gets pooped out of the Ormat. <laughs> I guess we'd still need her to get down there. Alright, alright, let's go. Grab the key, take her down there, go off to the next series of floors. What, are you serious that you guys come back? By the way, the hint to this over here was back in another room where you remember you had to blow out the torches so that you could see light coming through the crack in the wall. Well, yeah, that's the same concept over in that corner. Only the torches are, you know, they're, the two that are over there are already lit. So what they're having you think is that, hey, maybe I should blow out all the torches and see what comes out of that. And, well, obviously you can get stuff out of that that way. 
Alright, this floor over here. Now, there is another thing that I didn't get over here, I think, when I came through here that I probably could have gotten because I had the whip. It's... No, 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 you don't. You do not. You do not. You a bad boy. <laughs> and there's also a chest that I can get up on top of there. Uh, and there's nothing also for us to be teleported to. You know, I mean, I mean, uh, anything for them to attack me with so they can beep all they want to. They aren't gonna be getting anywhere. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do here is leave Zelda over there and get this off of me and then jump on top of Zelda. Yeah, I can't believe I didn't do this when I was back over here the other time, but well, but well, we're all human. <laughs> Go over there with Zelda and then I will be able to get the treasure chest up top. And also, for the other one, I'm gonna need the whip. So, whip it good. <laughs> no, don't go get stuck on the corner, just save some time here. I've already been recording for like 55 minutes. I actually had to start a new recording because I was running out of space. <laughs> uh, it's okay though, we're, we're okay. We're still, we're still kicking. <laughs> okay. Just wanted to, you know, gotta make sure that you don't lose your progress along the way. Just gotta keep checking that stuff, but as long as I catch it before it actually cuts off my voice or something like that, we're good. <laughs> so this also takes us to a slightly higher level, as you can see by the coloration over there. And there's the ancient gold piece, of course. So yeah, we're technically a little bit higher up than we were before, too, which means that getting back is also easy. Well, it's actually not technical, it's it's the truth. <laughs> oh no! Zelda killed me! <laughs> Let's see if we can get her out of the way. So we can get out of there. <laughs> so, okay, we're gonna go back to that. And there we go. Take this, Zelda! Take this! This is what you get for knocking me in the hole! This is what you get! How do you like those apples? <laughs> She gets different dialogue as you see there, but if you keep attacking her like that, she'll go, ow! <laughs> I mean, she'll keep going, ow, and then yeah, and she'll come and attack you like that. So let's actually read off her dialogue here properly. <laughs> I just wanted to show that somewhere along the line when I went through the Tower of Spirits. Come on now, you're starting to make me angry! Why are you being so pushy to stop it? Da -da -da. Why are you being able to make me angry? <laughs> It actually does hurt you, as you see on the life gauge there. Alright, so let's go ahead and check out our map once again. I don't really think there's anything... Yeah, this is all very linear at, at these points. The same with all this. Uh, so yeah, I guess the next point that we're going up to is the Wrecker Phantom floor. So I'll see you there. Oh, wait, 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 actually... Didn't they meant like the other phantoms mention something about there being a hidden wall somewhere around this area? I bet ya. Because there's this dead end type place over here that there's something that I can bomb. If I were to And wait, it what is this? Why is that one a different color? I don't care about you. <laughs> uh, let's just let's just check around here. Just because. There might actually be something, you never know, you never know. Um, yeah, I think this is actually just gonna make another phantom up here if I put it in that one. Yeah, that was the, the false one. So now I can't activate it again since I already did the puzzles of the room, I suppose. Uh, oh, what's that? What is this? This is weird. It's not making any sound when I hit it with my sword. It's like it's a different wall texture, it's made out of... Gush! Oh, no, I didn't mean... Well, I guess you can drop that there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, so I guess it's not here. Uh, just call her before it blows up and she gets mad at me again. Uh, so, I don't care about you, really. Here, you can knock You can knock it off me. It's not, please, just uh, knock it off. There you go. <laughs> just stop the incessant beeping. So there's, I guess there's nothing hidden here at these particular areas, or is it maybe on some other floor? I don't know, and I don't, I don't really feel like checking that many walls. There's a, there's a lot of walls to check, so I might have to actually look into this off camera to act to see, because I, yeah, that's a lot of walls <laughs> to, to trial and error and whatnot. So, yeah, it's, I think it's time for Wrecker Reck Phantom area time. Oh yeah, and when it, when you get pooped out over here, this also works as a as like a.
phantom filter when you go through the door and whatnot, so it's it's the same as if you end up in one of the rail map rooms. I'm back to the way I was before, and look at your sword! It's not lit up anymore, Link! Uh, so yeah, it's you only get really the power to repel the phantoms in areas such as this. Alright, so the Wrecker Phantom area is the last of the last here, besides, you know, that, that'll that take us to the very top. There's not really all that much to even get over here, there's just a little treasure chest that's over at this area, uh, and that involves getting this block moved. I got I think I gotta get Zelda to pull it from this side, so I'm gonna, gonna do this really quick here, there we go. <laughs> nope, no explosions here, no, nothing to see here. <laughs> Okay, so Zelda is in, and so yeah, that's not really a a block that you can push. Because if you push it, you get over. Uh, I mean, you get it lodged into where the treasure chest was. So yeah, just gotta get her over her there. And are you getting stuck on the? I'm sorry, Zelda. I didn't draw it in an accurate line. <laughs> All right, pull for me, please. Thank you. There we go, go on Amber. I could have got this as soon as I got one of the Wrecker Phantoms, but alas, alas, I did not. And uh, and as you know, the Wrecker Phantoms cannot, like, pardon? You can't push that when you're that close? Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> so yeah, um, when you're a Wrecker Phantom, you can't talk to the other Phantoms, so you'd have to be the regular Sword Phantom. You know, the, the basic of the basic, they're not just called Sword Phantoms, they're just Phantoms. <laughs> So I, I was kind of adding up extra layer of name there that wasn't there. Uh, let's check the other floors. Yeah, this is all super linear. Also, could I mean, I guess it could ha have some hidden walls I could bomb maybe somewhere along the way. Like there was this one over here that I already bombed. But yeah, I already took care of that. Uh, some other play. Whoops. I think, actually, maybe that was all that. No, no, no. What? I select the real map instead of the regular map. Dang it! <laughs> Menu! Map! Okay. <laughs> so, is that 22, 23? Yeah, see, there's so many possible bomber walls that could be hiding something, but other than trial and erroring it by tapping it with my sword, which would take forever, uh, I think I got everything cleared out. So, yeah, we can head out over here and get something at the very top of the tower now. Uh, well. <laughs> I guess, yeah, we can kind of zip this out here. I do believe the music gets more and more complex and exciting as you get close to the top, because you see how there's more instruments in with the music than there was before? Yeah. So as you go up the tower, it just keeps getting more and more intense as you go up the floors and whatnot. So now over here, this is our main highlight of getting set up for the future and whatnot. So you remember coming up here before, right? Yeah, we got up over here to the place where we fought Burn and all like that. But there's there's a little something that you might not have noticed over here. Is that when you get out here, you go up well, you do go up a long set of stairs. Yes, you wouldn't you wouldn't miss going up a long set of stairs, but did you notice that there are no sorts of like openings to go into what this portion of the tower is like. Well, check this out. Not only is there a stamp station up here, <laughs> yeah, this is the final stamp station. So here it is, last page, baby. That's the final stamp, and let's let's get it nice and perfect location there for the finale here. Oh man, I'm just I'm just twitching before I get that stamp set in place, aren't I? Or maybe it's twitching on its own. Hmm, I guess that's as good as I'll get it. So there's our finale of the stamp. And you might also have remembered that when we, when we came out here before, this was all cutscene. We didn't have any access to be able to do this sort of thing. Nor do we even have the Bow of Light, but check this out. Woo! And one more. Always make sure to charge up your arrows because, yeah, it won't affect the eyes. Check it out! Check it out! It's the final area of the Tower of Spirits, yes! There's actually more floors to do in this place! Can you believe it? No, you couldn't possibly believe it, well, until you've seen it. When I first seen this, I was like, oh my god, I thought I reached the top, because I didn't notice that there was that whole gap that I bypassed, you know, with the stairs outside the tower, but no! Look at this! Look at this! You go down the stairs, and we're in floor 30! Who knew 
sure there is something like this under the altar! Alright, Link, it's time to end this! Together we can take on anything, right? No way. You say that now, but I know you'll come around and do the right thing. It's because you got such a big heart. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, I'm not going to be starting this this part. Remember what Anjin told us, Link? Your new sword is filled with energy. That means you don't need to grab the tears of light to attack the phantoms. So, yeah, well, I'm not going to be starting this today. I just wanted to show you that... As long as we're here and I can get grab the stamp station and stuff like that, I would show you what that all meant. Is that there is indeed more to the tower that we have to do here. I mean, yeah, this is this was quite the twist because there's all of this over here that you, you don't really pay much attention to because it's like you're going up the stairs. This looks like it's going up to the very top, but we're actually bypassing a whole bunch of floors and we end up at uh, floor 30 and then we start going down. So, uh, with so many floors, that makes it the most amount of floors in any Zelda game to date. Crazy, right? I mean, you know, some of the floors are like this, you know, where there's absolutely nothing in them, but, you know, they're still technically floors. <laughs> Alright, so now what we're going to do with our final stamp is we're going to go over to Nico's and go see what he has to say about a completely full stamp book. Yes, I would like to. So down we go! And to Nico. We're here! Oh geez, we got mail too. Um, okay, fine, I'll check that. <laughs> what could this be? Probably Nico just saying, hey, how's that stamp book coming along? <laughs> Hey, you've gotten another fer letter from Ferris, Link. He seems to have perked up since I saw him last. He was all smiles this time. Maybe he had something to do with the underwater tracks he said he found. What do you mean, he found? He told me to thank you for all your help. Now, without further ado, here's your letter. Stop reading my letters! <laughs> Woo! Okay, I have delivered your mail safety to you. See you around. Do, 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 do. All right, let's read that letter. <laughs> Ah, freaking little we're always reading our letters. Third one. Tell me, do you recognize this local? You remember the ocean temple you brought me before, right? I mean, two before, right? I found something neato there. If you want to come visit me, I'll give you this thing I found. Stop by when you can. Your aquatic pal, Ferris. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll have to go plop over there. I believe that's in, somewhere here in the forest realm, but, well, but, well, you'll see. <laughs> so, Nico, 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 I finished your stamp book. Check it out. Actually, let's see the collection here, if it's going to actually... Uh, it doesn't... I mean, that's what the whole thing looks like, but I was going to say, maybe, maybe it'll have some sort of... Uh, detailing as to what uh, it looks like when I get all the stamps and whatnot. But yeah, if you'd like to, you can page through all the stamps all day and all night to see what they all look like. But that is all. <laughs> all right, Nico. Great to see your backlink. Uh, you've even found a lot of good stamps. I see you've collected all 20 stamps. You're an amazing kid. You really are. You made this old man's dreams come true, and that kind of thing is priceless. After looking at this stamp book, I don't have a single regret left in this world. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Is that all? Oh, yes, that's right. I owe you a reward, don't I? Here, how's this? Swordsman Scroll number two! Memories of veteran swordsmen flow through it. You can perform the great spin attack. Draw a circle around you three times to execute the attack. Oh, and this is something I got from an old friend. It's the great spin attack. To pull it off, draw a circle. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, pretty neat, huh? <laughs> so let's do this outside so you can see how this is actually work working out. Well, actually, I'll see a bit more dialogue. Thanks to you, I have absolutely no regrets in the world. Ah, feels good. Thanks, Link. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> I started in the engineer's clothes and I'm finishing with the engineer's clothes. So, now remember before when you would keep spinning around, you know, doing the spin attack multiple times, you get yourself dizzy? Aim for it this time. Yeah! <laughs> this is massively helpful in killing off multiple enemies at the same time. And you also have to hold it down in order to keep it going if you release it. Uh, wait, I thought, oh, that's right, you have to hit something in order for it to actually stop, and you don't get dizzy. But yeah, if you, if you get yourself stopped, like hitting a treasure chest or something like that, like I did there accidentally, uh, then you can avoid the 
peril of taking damage from a nearby enemy or something like that by just retaliating. But other than that, you're kind of spitting out of control until, well, well, not you, I mean, you still have control over it, but you're, uh, but you know, you're like a mass killing machine until you make yourself dizzy and then you lose control of yourself for a brief time. That's probably when you'll take damage as you're trying to barrel yourself into a bunch of enemies. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here because I got all the collectibles that I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> At least that I wanted to do in the part, you know, there's still obviously more to check out and whatnot. Oh, and I'm gonna go take a break. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we do such things, shall we? I think we shall next part.